A family had four dogs and didn't want to care for all of them, so they got rid of Maxie because she was the oldest. I didn't know how much work it was, really. Cat returned because its black hair was sticking on the white couch. New girlfriend doesn't like the dog. My wife and I are retiring and cat doesn't fit into our lifestyle. Recently I read a study called Human and Animal Factors Related to the Relinquishment of Dogs and Cats in 12 Selected Animal Shelters in the United States. I know, it's a long name, maybe it even sounds a little bit boring, but believe me, it's an interesting read. It is not a new study, actually it's from the year 1998, but I feel that most of it still apply today. In this video I will show you the most surprising, alarming and worrying results of this study. In this video I want to talk about the results of the study, not about the process of making it, about the data collection, analysis and stuff like that. But if you are interested in that, if you want to read the whole paper, I'm giving you a link in description. The first set of results of the study is that the number of dogs that entered the examined shelters was 14,042 per shelter. The mean number of dogs exiting the shelters was 9,831, but the majority of them, to be more specific, 55% of dogs exiting the shelters were euthanized. I felt like this number is just too high, so I found more recent data from 2015 to 2018 from shelter animal counts. Today, every year, 6.5 million dogs and cats enter the shelters in the USA and each year approximately 1.5 million shelter animals are euthanized. Honestly, those numbers are just insane, but it would be silly to blame the shelters because it's impossible to take care about all the dogs and cats when the numbers of dogs and cats entering the shelters are just too high. I blame the silly owners and here is why. This table shows us the most common reasons why people relinquish their dogs and to be honest, most of them sounds like an excuse so that the people don't feel that bad about leaving their dog. Among the most common reasons for relinquishments were human housing issues, behavior problems, human lifestyle, human expectations, aggression and household animal population. Okay, some of the reasons might be understandable. I can understand that sometimes it might be the best solution to just say goodbye to your dog. I can't relate to it because I never was in this situation, but I can imagine it must be one of the hardest decisions you can make. Uh, but honestly, most of the reasons in the table sounds totally dumb to me. First, let's talk about the human lifestyle reason. It basically means that the people don't have time to take care about their pets because they want to do other things, for example, I don't know, travel. Uh, but why do you get a dog in the first place? What did you expect? Of course, the human lifestyle also can mean that the people needed to work more than they used to and they don't have time for their pet anymore. But do you hear how terrible that sounds? If the people would be honest, this is how the relinquishment would go. Hello Mr. Shelter guy, here is my dog, but uh, I don't have time for him anymore so I will just leave it here and run away like a coward. And you can say that the human lifestyle reason might also mean that the person does not have the money to keep their pet. But again, why do you get a dog in the first place if you can't afford it? The most common reason is human housing issue. I can understand that if you own a big dog, big active dog, for example Belgian Malinois, German Shepherd, and you need to, you just have to move to the big city center without parks or something like that, then the relinquishment might be a reasonable choice to make. But I can't believe that 29% of shelter dogs were in a situation like this. This is the most common excuse. The human expectation is another stupid reason. What did you expect? That the puppy will be house trained, understand every command and do everything you want? The same goes with aggression and, and behavior problems. If you are not confident about raising dogs and never owned one before, just don't get a dominant and independent breed that is stronger than you. People are buying strong and large dogs because they want to look cool and those breeds are trendy and popular but dogs are not your decoration. And the weirdest reason of all, household animal population. If you have three dogs already and you can't keep up with them, why would you get fourth? As you can see most of the time when the dog is euthanized, it's not because of the shelter or because of the dog, it's because of the human ego and stupidity. Just do your research before getting a dog. 
Now I would like to share with you with experiences of Katie Paulson from Pause from Hope. I write it down because I don't remember it from my head. She was asked what were the dumbest reason to relinquish a pet. There are a few of her answers. A family had four dogs and didn't want to care for all of them. So they got rid of Maxie because she was the oldest. I didn't know how much work it was, really. Cat returned because its black hair was sticking on the white couch. New girlfriend doesn't like the dog. My wife and I are retiring and cat doesn't fit into our lifestyle. I'm wondering, tell me in comments if there are some understandable reasons that you agree with to relinquish a dog and what is the dumbest reason to relinquish a dog you ever heard. Another table shows us what is the age of surrendered dogs. As you can see, majority, almost 50% of all surrendered dogs are between half and three years old. The good thing about this is that I'm pretty sure that younger dogs are easier to adopt than old dogs. But, it's, but it also shows us that most of the reason I mentioned earlier in this video are true you want to tell me that you have no housing problems, you get a dog and one year later your landlord doesn't allow you to have a dog or you need to move to another continent, or you, that you have a good lifestyle to buy a dog but suddenly one or two years later your lifestyle changed so much that you are unable to keep the pet. For me this is another evidence that the true reason why most of the dogs are relinquished is not knowing what it takes to have a dog, not doing a research before getting a dog suitable for my needs and skills and sadly getting a dog breed just because it is popular and why I want to look cool. From this table you can also see that majority of the people only own the dog for 7 to 12 months before they relinquish it. Let's take a look at another table which will show us what is the age of people who relinquish their dogs. But before I will show you the table, let's make a guess. What do you think? Will it be old people, young people, adults? Because I can understand when someone very old is not capable anymore to take care about their dogs. The health can change quickly. This is completely understandable. I can probably even understand when someone very young make a mistake, some 18 years old, 19 years old, get a dog without knowing what it takes actually. It's just bad judgment, mistake. It's hard to understand this, but okay, it can happen. But look at this table. The biggest group of people who surrender their dogs is between 31 to 40 years old and the mean age was 38.3. I mean, when you are 38 years old, you should be capable of realistically evaluate if you will be capable of taking care of a dog or not. When you are 38, most of the time you are healthy and you should be definitely sufficient, realistic, un unhurried and responsible. Well, it seems that is not true. I don't even know how to end this video. Make your research before getting a dog. There is a million of sources how to determine the right breed for you. Be completely honest with yourself. Do you have the money and time to keep the pet? Make sure that you are not allergic to dogs and cats before getting them. If you want a puppy, are you okay with some furniture destruction and pee on the floor? Are you patient enough to train and socialize a dog? Buying or adopting a dog is not an emotional decision. Use your brain. If you agree with message of this video, consider sharing it and every like, comment, subscribe is appreciated. I will try to read and answer all the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.